Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith, half of Piece of Cake Designs, and I wanted to show you how to use this dandy little needle threader that we have on our site. It's um, sold by Bowen, and it's, it's really a great threader. It's got two sides to it. Let me pull in here. It's got two sides. One side is big, one is small for bigger needles and bigger thread and smaller needles with smaller thread. Honestly, I've never used the big side. I don't know what needle would even work in there. Let me show you how this works. When you push this button, see the mechanism that works there? That little thing coming out the side, that's the needle threader itself that pushes the thread through the eye of the needle. This is the hole that you put the eye of the needle down in, and right here, that's the thread slot where the thread goes in and locks. That's the feature of this needle threader that makes it better than most of the ones I've used. It holds the thread firmly in place while the needle threader does its work. So let me show you how this works. Like any other desk needle threader, it needs to be level to work well. So. I'm going to put my size 12 black gold needle made by Clover into the little small thread hole. Okay, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can push the lever and sort of line up the eye of the needle through um, on that needle threader. Now I'm going to put this thread in here. When you put the thread in, only put an inch or two of thread on the far side of the needle threader. Pull it down and pop it into place just like that. Okay, now let me pull this through so you can see how it works. So I'm going to push the button. Did you see it? Shove that thread right out of there. Now you can take the needle and pull it and most of the time that thread will stay threaded through the eye of the needle. But what I like to do is pull it, and it, if you've got too much thread on the far side, you have to pull too much thread through the eye of the needle. That's why you want to start with a, a smaller bit of thread on the far side. Go ahead and pull the thread through the eye of the needle, and then pull this through, and I like to grab the tail of thread as I pull it out, and there you go. Your needle is threaded. Um, and one little tidbit of information, I know that over the years we've told you and told you and told you that it makes a difference which end of the thread gets the knot. After much discussion with Bob Purcell, Linda and I have come to the conclusion that really it doesn't matter which end of the thread gets the knot. Um, there are other things that do matter in how you handle your needle so that you keep the thread twisted so it doesn't... Um, fray on you so much, and that has to do with not over manipulating the needle in your hand as you're making your stitches. So, enjoy your day, and I hope this helps you thread those pesky little needles.